This is question 22. College Board gives us a graph with speed versus time and asks for the total distance traveled from time 1 to time 4. Notice this is not the total distance over the entire graph where you might have to play with the area of a triangle on a trapezoid. This is just from time 1 to time 4 and that's a rectangle. Distance is equal to speed times time. And the units there should make sense. If speed is in miles per minute, and we multiply that by minutes, the minutes cancel and we're left with miles. So in terms of units, it makes sense to multiply speed by time to get distance. And you should either be familiar with this formula or check the units to make sure you're doing it correctly. So they're asking for the total distance traveled and our speed from time 1 to time 4 is constant at point 5 and our minutes 4 minus 1 is 3. It's 1 minute from 1 to 2, 1 minute from 2 to 3, and 1 more minute from 3 to 4 for a total of 3 minutes. So our distance is 1.5 miles choice B. Always read any questions carefully, but especially College Board questions. They are fond of subtle wording and distractions, and it's easy, easy to get distracted by some of the other clutter in this question and choose one of the wrong answers. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.